yeah hello there and welcome back and let us continue with our lesson over here and the next step let us go and create our repository over here so for that let's go to the repository and let's create a new file and let's call this one as the i to do over here and uh, to do underscore reposi repository dot the dot file and uh, let's copy this name and this will be our interface and let's have the another one that will be of the implementation of this particular interface so we are following the clean architecture and the solid principle over here so we have created the interface over here otherwise uh, you can just create a function directly on your repository over here so let's go over here and uh, let's have the our uh, class so that will be of the abstract class and i to do over here REPOSIT repository and sorry it should be of the class right so CLASS class over here and let's have the uh, function over here or the method so let's go to the API over here and uh, let's grab all of the uh, function from here so we can copy this code from here and let's go back to our uh, repository interface over here and let's paste it over here and uh, let's rename or let's remove all of this from here that is not what we want to return from here and let's just uh, remove all of this and uh, this one and then the, this one so when you get the uh, to do's over here right uh, you get the uh, list of the to do's over here so for that we need to pass in the to do's uh, to do's a uh, response to dos to do's a uh, response over here and this will be of the not the type of the uh, id let's make it as the user id over here since we want to get the list of the to do's for that particular user so we want to pass in the user id so i guess that will be a better naming convention over here so let's just rename this one over here too and also over here right so somewhere we have to get that particular to do's over here and let's rename this one to the user id instead of the id as over here and once we are here the next one is get the to do's we are just getting the to do's to do response over here not the to do's response and add to to do's will also return us the uh, same response back that will be of the to do's to do response over here and update will also return us the to do response and only the delete will return us the to do uh, delete response and i guess that should be fine so we have a query query body and then we have the user uh, id and the user id so i guess that should be good to go and i guess we can move this one to the top since we this is to just uh, get the single item and then list and then we can add we can update and we can delete it so let's go back to the to do uh, the repository class and we need to implement our interface so class that will be of the to do r-e-p-o-s-i t-o-r-y repository that will implement our uh, i to do uh, repository right and i guess the spelling is not good to do repo and i guess uh, that should be fine and we can uh, create the uh, missing function over here so let's type in the uh, dependency for this one so final we require a dependency of the i to do uh, the api service we will require that one so here we will have the uh, to do api service over here and let's create the uh, constructor for this one let's grab and the create the constructor for the final field and once we have this dependency we can call our api from here now so let's go down over here and let me arrange this one a bit properly and here we'll make use of the uh, try catch block over here and in the catch what we want to do is once we have the error or once we catch it we will uh, throw from here the uh, fai failure the uh, the custom 
exception class that we have created fai lure failure fai lure failure and let's import this one so let us import the uh, failure class over here and we can just pass in the uh, the message that we have that will be of the uh, let's pass in the message e dot d2 string over here and then in the the try block let's go and get the final response over here uh, which will be of the await and we need to make this one as the uh, asynchronous function and i need to make it aw await over here and then to do api service dot this is to add right so add the to do's over here and pass in the body and here we'll check the condition over here if the uh, response that we have response dot the uh, status code that we are getting over here is not equals to the uh, http uh, statu status and http status dot the created right so we need to have a, a created over here so let's find the created so if it is not this uh, written type of the response code is not of the uh, created then we uh, will think that this is an error so from here we will again throw the uh, exception uh, exception uh, or the we need to throw the a uh, failure that is what we have created a custom class and here we will just say the response dot we will have the http uh, response error that is the extension that we previously created and finally once we are done with that let's go and uh, return the actual response i'll just say to do and a response over here to do response from the json and we need to pass in the uh, response dot the uh, body from here and once we are done with that we are good to go over here and i'll just copy the code from here and we don't want to rewrite the whole thing just copy and paste it over here and this one will be of the uh, asynchronous function and here i need to pass in the uh, delete and i need to pass in the uh, queries over here right so this is the one that we have to pass in and here i need to pass in the to do uh, delete response from the adjacent over here and uh, then i guess it's the same thing so we don't have to change the other stuff and here the, it is not created so we should return as if it is of the okay right so if this uh, http status code each of okay and then we if it is not of the okay then we'll return the error or we we will throw the uh, exception over here and let's copy this one from here again and let's go down over here that will be of the get the uh to do over here uh, get the to do over here that is just a single to do and for this one let's just make this one as the asynchronous function and here i just need to pass in the id and the status code is should be okay right http status that the okay and then here i need to pass in the uh to do a uh, response over here and that should be good over here and delete to do request the uh this is to get to do over here and i need to okay so this is not the delete so this should be of the get to do over here and uh, let's go down over here and we need to get the list of the to do's from here and just pass in over here and here we will just pass in the get to do's over here and we need to pass in the uh the user id over here and let's make this one as the uh, asynchronous function call and here i need to pass in the to do's right so to do's response from the json and we are good to go and let's go down finally we have the update and this will be of the uh, asynchronous function and here we need to call the update function and pass in the query and the return type will be also of the uh, okay for this one or uh, this is the updated um, updated will have a different 
status code i okay. so if i go to the uh, put and if i take a look so it is accepted over here it's not the uh, okay so rest of those have the okay right so status code is okay and uh, here this is of should be of the created and uh, this should be of the created right but for that one or the updated we need to change the status code to be of the accepted and once we have that and this one should be also of the uh, to do response right to do response from the json and i guess that's that should be fine so over here we have the update function and here we are just using a try cast to handle the error over here and if not we are if there is an error we are returning the custom failure class that we have previously created and updated and we have the get the list of the to do's over here all right and uh, then let's go on to the this is get the to do's the status of the okay and then we have the delete to do over here and uh, that should be good and here we are adding it and then finally we require a dependency of the uh, to do api service interface over here so why we are uh, requesting as the interface is um, it can be re easily replaceable so you don't have to pass in the concrete class if you are familiar with the solid principle uh, dependency of the inversion principle over here so uh, we should not depend on the concrete class over here rather it should be on the abstraction right so uh, we should always try to depend on the abstraction rather than the concrete class if you are trying to follow the solid principle over here and um, i guess that's all for this lesson let's meet up in the uh, next lecture till then have a great day